Hello everyone, it's Populace team. Here we have uh, uh, Alessandro Lanzani, the Pend God, the Pendulum Best Deck. Let's go! Shout out to Trif. <laughs> uh, okay, but I didn't play the best deck today with the best card. Uh, I played the second best deck, which is BA, and yeah, it's like fun favorite. So, and it's very good in this format. I mean, it has, you can play very, very such valuable cards like a uh, lot of traps we'll see later. That I think like it, it can still compete as a very good rock option, and today went undefeated at the locals. Okay, so, so... Let's start with the main deck. for the BR lineup, I play one graph obviously and one shield. By these guys are the heart and soul of the deck basically. Uh, one Libich, which is very good to summon with two turn uh, after turn one, because basically you can summon out chip from your end with a captain negated. You can link it away and then summon back uh, Dante, so we didn't find very easy. One Alich, one Kalkab and one Barbar. They are just the best utilities. You don't want to play too many BAs in this version. It's not a combo one. It's a very slow deck. Uh, Chris Karm, obviously, you keep looping this every turn in order to search a follow up. And free Barfa, just to, as an interruption, with Beatrice and also Find Greeting. And also shout out to Farfa, who signed this, uh, to SS Milan. Uh, so, yeah, this is the BR lineup. It's very short, but it's all you need. You don't want to have and then the clock with too many BA monster. As uh, other fiend monsters, we play Hurino, which is really, it's like the strongest BA. The one, uh, it's the best normal summon of the deck by far. Tutor Gate, which is like the best follow up to search of this card, but you don't want to actually open with, by normal summon with Tutor Gate, because it's a card that is very susceptible to end ups. You always prefer a Rhino as a first card. And then one back Jack, which is like broken. Uh, you, you play just one because you don't want to open it, but it's just so good to send with, to send with uh, Beatrice, uh, Rhino, or uh, Fiend Greeting. Uh, for the Entrap lineup, as monster Entrap, I played just uh, Free Ash and Free Nibiru, which I feel like uh, are the best one. I mean, this is for every deck that plays Quiston, and Ash is just the most unique one. Uh, as spell, I played only Foolish Burial, all is part of the deck. Mm, you, don't think, you don't need anything else. You may consider playing Quiston this format, but I, I wasn't feeling like I needed it in the main. Uh, for the traps, I played the uh, Free Trap trick, obviously, which is by far the best one because it searches every other trap. Free impermanence because it's both, a, it's both a trap and an end trap, so you can search with a trap tick or with back jack. And going second is just very good, also as a sixth card. Free friend greeting, which is like one of the best interruptions of the format against Dinos, Salad, even against Eldritch, because it's just the nuts. Free Dinomiscus, which is like so versatile, it kind of plays up spell traps or monster. Also, it can summon itself, so it like, makes a link climbing easier. Two Karma Cut. Mm, you play just two because it's just a worse version than uh, the Nomisco Torch, it's still uh, very good. Today banished uh, a Salomon Great Wolf in next to Monster Zone and another one in the graveyard, it was just the game there. And the last card is an Imperial Order, just to steal games, okay. basically free. Yeah. Uh, for Dexter deck, uh, we play <laughs> one Gravity Controller, which is super important in order to link out your land in Dexter Monster Zone for free, basically. Uh, yeah, super important. One Mascarena. Which like against the back row decks, you can go into Mascarina Beatrice first turn and then uh, link away Mascarina for Tris Baena and just clean the back row during, during bank phase. But usually you just end on Beatrice because uh, you can get in Bureau easily if you, want to, if you overextend your combo. Uh, the one Nightmare package, because in this deck they are awesome, basically you just discard your BAs and clean your opponent's board for free. And they're also, you know, every one is just the Mascarina target itself. Uh, one Topologic, Tris Baena. Uh, you win condition against back decks. You can twin in any other ways, but it's just broken. Uh, the bigger topologic bomber. <laughs> this, guy, this guy just uh, some like sometimes you can just TK for free with this guy. When you play against Salad or Orcus, uh, they rush your desire. Just among these and it's game. On Borlot because this deck has some very big issues. I think big monsters then can be targeted. So just some on Borlot. Uh, for the same reason and also for TK obviously Boris World. And you prefer Boris World over Assets Code in this deck because you just don't summon out of Link, uh, out of Link Monster very early. So if you want to push for damage, uh, Boris World is just a better option. Uh, as XYZ is, you play Wally the Iron, just in case uh, Seer gets hit by Corbett, Corbett the Grave or the Crow. Free Dante, which actually you don't need free, I never summoned free. But um, in some very grindy matchup, you may need the third one. Uh, you can consider to cut one. Uh, Beatrice Obsidian, which is like the best card of the deck. And Pilgrim, which is so good. When you summon this guy, usually you, you can't lose. Like, it's, it's insane. Just keep looping Seer, summoning back Dante and Dorica as uh, For the side deck, the purple token. Free Camessian, which is like super versatile. And as I said, this deck is um, 
issues the ultimate monsters. So you just summon the Gamesia and then run over it with Dante, basically. Uh, for backroad decks, which I, I don't play many very good cards against backroad decks in the main, so I play them in the side. Free Cosmic, Free Twin Twister, and Free Heavily Matched. So you have a lot of type, you have a lot of cards to side against, uh, like, uh, a lot of cards to side against uh, Alter Geist, which is back in the format uh, now that uh, White Breaker is open And the last card in the side. Uh, right, oh, okay. Italian. Yes, yes, uh, yes. And the last card in the side are Free and Judgment, because going first, you're very susceptible to heavily matched or stuff like that, except multiple drops. So just to protect yourself. Okay, so that's it for the profile. Uh, thank you, Alessandra. And don't forget to follow our YouTube channel and subscribe for it.